up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dominique aka Legally Bomb if you're new here welcome and if you're not new what's up so today as you can tell from the title we're about to do a sneaker haul these are all of the shoes I have purchased since I think the first did I buy these shoes in January I don't know but I know for sure the first pair I bought I bought a pair in February so and I think that I have purchased a shoe every month this year i really kind of went quarantine quarantine shopping crazy why i don't know because where did i go nowhere but i just felt like i needed to have these shoes and clothes now let's get into the shoes i'm going to have um a video on one side of me i don't know what side um of me actually trying on the shoe and I'll be sure to I'm not gonna list the I can't give you a link for the shoe I'll just put the name for the shoes in the description because y'all know how the sneaker game go like if you ain't get them when they drop it's quiet for it unless you want go or um what's the other one stock x you know y'all know the vibes so yeah I'm just sharing with y'all what I got and yeah let's get started before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe your girl is really close to 1k um subscribers i've been thinking about what i'm gonna do for a giveaway when i hit 500 i did sneakers so i'm thinking i'll do sneakers again along with something else if you guys have any suggestions about a 1k giveaway please be sure to drop suggestions in the comments the first pair we have are these um sixes please I'm like a sneakerhead, but I'm not a sneakerhead. I don't be knowing like official names and stuff. I'm not really good with that. If I like the shoe, I like the shoe. Um, are these, um, what are these? Sixes. Black and it's, They got a name for them, but I don't. Let's look it up. Let me be for real. They were like, this girl not a sneaker. I'm really not. I just like shoes. Like, it's not. I don't really be into the history of it. Like some people. Black and gold sixes what are these called okay they called defining moments okay whatever to me they black and gold sixes okay so i got these because i don't i don't know why i wanted these so bad but i wore them the other day and i absolutely loved them that was my first time wearing it i think these came out in april maybe and i haven't worn it yes saturday was my first time wearing them i got mine in a size six and a half in kids and i wear eight and a half in women's these are really really bomb like great neutral shoe i love these i can definitely see myself wearing those a lot more often when the world opens back up if the world ever opens back up so we have these air max 97s um they are highlighter neon green i love a monochromatic shoe oh i was messing up my lighting i love a monochromatic shoe so i have these and another in this haul the holding these up is messing up my lighting um but yeah these are a women's shoe i got these in a size nine because why did i go up a size oh because i have the silver 97s and they were tight on my foot so i got and I, somebody else told me like 97 is kind of shrink to your foot a little bit so i went up a half a size so these are women's size nine i got these from hibbit kind of at the beginning of the year don't know if they're still available but like i said i'll have the name in the description bar these have not been worn yet i don't know what i'm gonna wear with them no i do i have this nike outfit that i um i have this black and silver nike outfit that i wanted to wear but i haven't worn yet so i that's what i plan to wear with it but again the world not allowing me to do so we have ones are my favorite shoes i know that's very like cliche and a lot of people like ones but they really are bomb like it's a good high top shoe it's not an uncomfortable high top shoe well not to me um, but I know some people do have problems with ones. I don't. I absolutely love them. Um, these are the Royal Toe ones. I do have the Royal ones that came out. I don't even know what year. I know I was in college when I got those. And any ones that try to come out, I try to get it. But you know how the game goes. For me personally, I'm not really into buying a shoe over resale. Over retail. 
I, it's just not worth it to me unless I just like absolutely have to have it but even then resale prices are wild so if I take an L on the shoe, I take an L on the shoe. So I'm really glad I was able to cop these. I actually came about these in a really funny way. So when these dropped, I did not hit on any raffles. But that Saturday, um, the phrase, those, that Jordan 1 was trending or something like that. Something to do with, a, with the sneaker was trending. So I'm just scrolling through reading like about people. I, was, I wanted to see who else took an L like me so I didn't feel as bad. So I'm just scrolling through and I see this girl was like, um, I have a 7Y ticket. Does anybody want it? I hopped in her DM so fast. Mind you, I don't know this girl from Adam's house cat. I didn't know her. And I was like, I was like, you still have the ticket? She was like, yeah, I do. I was like, how much for the ticket? She was like, oh girl, it's nothing. I'll just give you my login and you can get the shoe. Girl, child, I logged in and copped my shoe. It is a 7 instead of a six and a half but i'm probably i haven't tried it on yet but i'm probably just gonna add a shoe pad to make it fit um so yeah i kind of came up like real crazy on it. the mocha ones also a really hot cop um i also came about these in a really fun not a it's well not a funny way but no i don't want to say no cap but for real for real before i entered the raffle for these i said a prayer to god i was like god please give me these shoes they came out like the week before my birthday i was like god please give me these shoes i really want these shoes it'll be a great birthday present so sneakers did an early drop and i hit on those and i but i wasn't able to get a seven in men so i went i was like let me just get any size and I, any size i get i can resell them so i got a seven and a half but then i hit on another raffle in my actual size Cause my plan was up i don't hit on anywhere else i'll just sell them sell the sneakers app release that i get and then use the money for those to get my pair but luckily i hit on two raffles so i was able to get my mom actually wanted the other pair she just i think she just didn't want to do what i do because she didn't even know about the shoe but um these are really really dope um a good good neutral shoe especially right now for the fall and i know um what have i worn these with i've worn this with a um color blocking color blocked uh sweatsuit type thing um i know a lot of people are more like drawn to wearing brown with these but i feel like you could do way more than brown like i feel like you can do pink you can do blue red like it's such a neutral shoe like it can really go with a lot of things if you do it the right way so i'm really glad i was able to do those those might have been a pair that i was would have been willing willing to pay resale for might but i'm glad we're not all right next up is these custom snakeskin air force ones funny story um the guy i was talking to he actually made his first and i wanted to be like him so i made mine just like his but it that came from a picture on twitter and you can make you can make these yourself make these yourself on nike but i'll i'll try to find the link to where you can customize um the shoe and if you do try to customize this exact shoe um this part right here it's not white it's a tan i don't know the name of the option but it's a tan color so if you want this exact shoe make sure you do the tan color because i think his is white and his not as cute as mine so um i'll try to find it for you and then um nike did a discount for healthcare workers so i used that to get these so these were kind of like they were like a hundred dollars at 110 and i got them in a uh what's other than I got these in a they say nine. Oh, I got these in an eight and a half and they didn't take too long to get to me um i don't know what i'm gonna wear these with i when i went to saloon for my birthday i considered bringing them with this brown outfit that i have i really think that would be the only brown or cream so maybe i need to or find me a cream sweatsuit to wear with these because i feel like you cannot do a lot with the like the outfit is gonna have to be the shoe you're gonna have to build the outfit around the shoe and the outfit gonna have to be real quiet so yes um and another detail the little lace tag is pink as well and the tongue is a tan as well um i just want if y'all i'm just trying to show you guys i'm just trying to show you guys the whole shoe just in case 
you want to customize it just like these and I also have a picture on my Instagram so if you're following me on Instagram be sure to um, check that out and if you're not following me on Instagram follow me legally bomb with two B's at the end next up we have these platform converse they might be a little dirty I've worn these a couple times I absolutely love this shoe but when I wore them I was like oh these kind of look like Rick Owens knockoffs but oh well but I act like love 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 these I think these also come in a maroon color but I love these I love the little purple accent back here and the little purple accent on the um uh shoestring I wore these with a I had on camo cargo shorts and an olive green long sleeve t-shirt and I wore that with these and then I also had a baby blue um t-shirt with a with Maggie Simpson on it um and some jeans and I wore these with it as well I love these and they are not bad there these are more I know a lot of people are into the um into the platform converse right now these are far more comfortable than the run star hikes and i have a pair and when i get to those i'll tell y'all about those but these are called i don't know what they call it don't say but i'll have the name in the description for you and i got these in a size eight y'all know you know how converse run they can either be a little bit big or they can, well they're always for me they're always big so i go a size down in converse Next, we have another monochromatic shoe, these pink uh, Vapor Max, which again, I absolutely love these. I don't get to wear them as much, but at first, when I got my first pair, pair of Vapor Max, I did not like them because I was like, what is this bubble? Like, it felt weird, but they're actually one of my more comfortable shoes. I love the pink. Pink has grown to be one of my favorite colors. I've always been a yellow has always been my favorite color, but anything pink is really like for me all of a sudden i don't know why but pink is my color so these are a go love 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 these oh i got these through my friends shout out to comeback season um if you're not if you're into sneakers like i am and you don't really want to go through the hassle of finding your own sneaker and you don't mind paying a little bit of a retail you know how the game goes be sure to follow my friend trail at the comeback season i'll have his instagram somewhere on the screen for you all to follow i was able to cop these through him next up we have these nike aqua riffs absolutely love these very comfortable these have been a silhouette that i've been wanting since i was a kid before i was really into sneakers i wanted these in high school i don't in it but they weren't really made very often there's a different colorway that's a little bit more popular but by the time i realized that they were out that colorway was sold out so i got these love these as well super duper comfortable i got these in a nine because somebody told me to i don't know who but somebody told me to size up so i got these in a nine and they fit me perfectly so yes and i have i kind of have my big toe is kind of long so yeah it was definitely best that I get these in a bigger size but I love these very comfortable very unique shoe and they don't really come out that often so if they're still available and you find some or if you find some for a reasonable price definitely cop these they come with a special sock that's because it because it's like a split toe the socks it's a Nike sock that's meant for this shoe but I don't judge your mama but i'm not i don't really like socks so but I, so i've never worn those socks but they do come with those next up we have these off-white sneakers these were a really random purchase i was just scrolling through instagram one day and this girl had some girl on the explore page had them on and they were cute and i was like oh i want some so i went and looked and i got these from goats in a size eight and a I got these from Goat in a size eight and a half, and did I pay? They were a really good price. Like I think I paid like twenty dollars over retail, if that. Like they were the only reason I again, if you see me with a resale shoe, it's because it was a good price or I really wanted it, and these were a good good price. And I don't have a white sneaker, so um, yeah, I got these. I haven't tried them on yet, so I don't know how they fit, but I was told that they fit true to size, so yeah. These are the off-white 
off white waffle rice. There's another, the other, you know, the other kind of off whites that are kind of like this, but the shape is a little bit different. I want some of those, so I want the yellow pair of those. These were another impulse buy. These are New Balance. I don't know what number. Y'all know New Balance got different numbers. I don't know the number. I have to look up my order from whenever I bought these. These was like a random purchase. I think I had just got paid and I had a $10 off coupon to Hibbit. Oh, if you like sneakers, Hibbit is a really good site to get your sneakers off of because they always give you a $10 off coupon when you spend at least $100. And nine times out of ten, every sneaker you buy is going to be over a hundred dollars. So I appreciate them for that. I think my ten dollar coupon was about to expire, so I was like, mm, let me just get these pink New Balances. They're okay. I didn't really like them on my foot. Mm. You know, it's like a. It's just not what I was expecting it to be. So mm, it's okay. Not bad. And I got these in a kid's six and a half. It was just like, let me use my coupon. They wasn't that expensive. I don't have, do I have New Balances? I have one pair of New Balance. And I was like, let me just get these. Not necessarily. Definitely not a must cop. Oh, I love these. Love, love, love these. These are the Nike Waffle Race Crater. I love this shoe. Um, I haven't worn them. But these were also kind of a random cop. I saw them on Twitter from, was it Kicks on Fire or somebody? And I was like, hmm, these are kind of cute. The bottom part kind of did throw me off with the, I do want to say it looked like gravel. But I do think it's a recycled material. But I actually really like these. I can't wait to wear them. I don't know what I'm going to wear them with. Looking at it off gate, definitely all black. Maybe gray. This is another shoe where your shoe would kind of have to be the focus if you're not, if you're really putting it, if you're really putting on an outfit, the shoe would have to do most of the talking. I love these. I got these in an eight and a half and they fit me perfectly. I can't wait to wear these. They're definitely a unique shoe, definitely a different cop. So if you, and they were like a hundred dollars, definitely not bad. So I definitely recommend these. And I, last time I looked, it was might have been a month they were still available it wasn't a shoe that sold out but that was a month ago and it's almost christmas time so next up are the pusher t oswegos from adidas um again low-key sort of an impulse buy i was just sitting around let me tell you something about me sometimes i get this impulse that i just like i have to buy something i have to buy something i have to buy something if i don't buy something like i'm gonna go crazy like it's I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just a feeling where I just have to buy something. I was just scrolling like, hmm, what do we have? What do we have? And I came across these in my size. Well, what I thought was my size. They're a men's size six, and they are a little bit tight. So I might end up taking the shoe pad out. But I really, I've really been wanting a pair of Oswegos. And they sell out so fast. All the good colors sell out so fast. They had the olive green ones the tan ones the bright ones they all sell out fast so i saw these and i was like let me snatch them up and i think they were on sale on foot locker or something like they were cheap on foot locker they're size six and normally i can go a size down in adidas which is why i got the six but these are kind of tight so well i'll make it work i'll figure out something but um i and i don't really have a black sneaker so i was cool with getting these Next up, we have the pine green ones. And like I told you guys before, I absolutely love ones. My goal is to literally have every pair of ones. When I get to a point in life where I can spend whatever on shoes, I want every pair of ones because I just love them. So again, when a one comes out, it's a must cop for me. These were actually not hard to get. They came out the weekend of CIAA because I remember I went and got my shoes that morning and I went somewhere else that night. And I hit really easily on Hibbit. Um, this was the last shoe I got. I hit in a raffle until the mochas. Like, I was not successful in raffles. That's why you don't see me with a whole lot of Jordans. Um, or, like, the, you know, the Nike releases. Because they're so hard to come by. And if I if I don't hit on a raffle, I'll try it at 10 o'clock. And if I don't get it, then that's it. Because I'm not doing resale. 
So yeah, these are the pine green ones. Absolutely love these. I wore these in a photo shoot with my friends and that's the only time I've worn them, but I definitely love these. Any pair of ones is always a must cop. But if you're into sneak trying to get into sneakers, I wouldn't say the pine green ones are like a you know the first pair of ones that you need to have. You know, there's other ones that are kind of because green is kind of hard to match with. You can always do gray. You can do red with those. You but have like the royals or the breads that are more neutral that can kind of go with more. Those would be the ones I would cop first if you're into sneakers. But again, the price tag on ones is crazy. But I mean, if your money is like that, definitely cop your ones. And I got those pine greens in a six and a half. I have the Converse Run Star Hike. These were very, very popular this year and they were so hard to get. Um, every restock, why is there a stain on the laces? Well, the first time I wore these, I did get pretty um, intoxicated, so that's understandable. But um, these are really hard to come by, but these aren't even the normal like cloth Converse. These are, a nylon see-through material and I got these from Urban Outfitters for like a hundred dollars because I have some type of coupon or they won't sell I don't know something you know I'm one thing about me I'm a, I'm a shop but if I got it it was probably on a deal um I don't recommend these I do not recommend these I'm gonna keep mine and wear mine because I have them but these are this is the heaviest shoe I have ever put on my foot and I have a pair of Doc Martens and they're not as heavy as this I don't know what they put in this part right here, but when I came home that night after wearing these, and I was out for maybe like three, four hours, and I wasn't even walking around, I was sitting down at a restaurant, my ankles were on a thousand Like They were her team. So I do not recommend these. I recommend the other platform Converse. I don't know what the colorway is for those, but get those before you get these these and it could be i got i do have skinny ankles it could be that but these right here nah fam but i did go a size down just like in the other one i got these in a size eight all right the last pair i have for you guys are these nike vistas i think that's what they're called yes nike zoom x vista grind okay so there are two kind of vistas there's another kind, but they're not as platform as these. I don't really like those, but these, I love, love, love these. I got these on GOAT as well. Um, Really super duper comfortable. Like these are some of the most comfortable shoes that I have. Love these. I got these on GOAT, not over retail. They're like right at retail or a little bit over retail. These were a really, really good cop. I'm glad I got you. All right, guys, that is it for my sneaker haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a sneakerhead, but I do like a nice pair. Of... I wouldn't quite consider myself a sneakerhead, but I just really, I prefer to wear sneakers everywhere. And if I see a sneaker I like, I get it. So, but I don't really know like the history of sneakers, but that's neither here nor there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love sharing this with you guys. Hauls are definitely one of my favorite things to share with you. They're not my favorite to create because it takes a long time. But speaking of hauls, I think I'm going to do um, a clothing haul coming up next. And because I bought so much stuff, I think I'm going to split it up into like tops and sweaters. But I'm, I'm looking at my clothing rack right here. Bottoms and, dre and then dresses and shoes. I don't know. I'm going to try to split it up some way because I cannot put everything I purchased for the fall. Well, we're in winter now. All of the winter purchases I've made into one video. We'd be here for days. So I'm going to try to figure out how to split that up. And figure out um, the best lens for it. Because I really be wanting to get the full body. Without having to like stand super far back. And have such a wide view. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But look forward to those haul videos coming up. And if there's anything else you guys want to see from me. Always be sure to let me know. I know I'm pretty slow to make videos. But your girl be tired. But I am... My goal in 2021 is to definitely do better because again I'm almost at 1k so 
the only way to get to 1k is consistency so we're working at that but you guys know that's a problem area for me but as always i appreciate you guys supporting me again please don't hesitate to let me know um what content you guys want to see from me if you haven't subscribed please be sure to do that and if you're not following me on instagram please do that as well i would say follow me on twitter but i'm kind of not feeling twitter right now so just follow me on instagram and yeah that's it guys i'll see y'all in the next one